Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Big Bad Bench. My name is John, a.k.a. Big Bad Biologist, and welcome to another potential fail stream. Um, so today on the Big Bad Bench, um, we have a Mac 2SI power supply. Um, and so if you remember a couple weeks ago, I had a Mac 2CI, uh, the power supply, and that was in really bad shape. Um, but the pinouts for the 2SI and the 2CI power supply should work. And so I got this 2SI a long time ago, and it's just been sitting. So I figured, all right, this power supply is a little bit simpler. And so maybe we can, um, you know, get this power supply working um, so that we can test out the 2CI. Um, well, um, so when I took this thing apart, um, it... it was kind of nasty um so the i don't know that uh, let me show you some pictures here so um obviously very juicy right so we have a real nice juicy power supply um the connector going from the power supply to the logic board lots of corrosion in there um lots of juice inside the the power supply chassis luckily not a lot of corrosion in there um, but you can see the the this is all mega super juicy um, so I decided to um, take this apart ahead of time to um, to start cleaning it up because I wanted to get this thing in a, in a, um, a, a vinegar bath before I really started moving on it um, and so I did that and it's good to go. Um, well, it's not good to go. It's, it's really freaking gross still, but at least we have the, the, um, cap juice all neutralized. All right. Um, so we got Adam McGee here from Adam's apples and we got Jeremy's vintage hillbilly shack. How's it going guys? Good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. So, um, we can see here like corrosion -y bits all under the solder mask around here um, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is pop this thing apart and pull out the caps um, and try to check out the the board a little bit in more detail um, you can see it, it it's actually a lot cleaner than it used to be after its nice uh, vinegar bath but it's still not perfect and this little little board right here is it's kind of gross, so I think I might have to desolder this whole little board. I have a feeling this, this might be like the voltage regulator or something. I don't know. Um, so let's get started on this thing because it's not going to cap itself. Um, so I think what I'm going to start off by doing is using the solder pult to take off all the solder from this little accessory board. daughter board oh wow I'm already smelling the cap juice um, after just those three little things oh nice doing some some 3d printing for cookie cutters are they gonna be um, computer related cookie cutters or just regular old old school cookie cutters Their solder pult does a nice job on these big pins. We might switch over to the microscope in a second, but all this stuff's kind of big. to check I forgot to pull up a diagram of this power supply first oh well we'll do what we can it's dangly <laughs> I 
had him seven more apple twos. That's wild. You're gonna uh, forget the guy in Ohio that has the big thing that they're trying to. Is it Ohio? They're trying to thin out the herd on that one. Um, all right, so we got that gone. Right there doesn't look too bad. Um, let's take a second here. So these cookies are gonna be shaped like basset hounds. Well, that's kind of interesting. Um, sorry, I'm just looking this up real quick to make sure that there's a recapping guide available for this power supply. Sorry, I'm a little a little out of sorts this morning. Um, Macintosh 2SI. Uh-oh. There's no guide. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Bruce, you're killing me. No, it's okay. It's my fault. There we go. Okay, Bruce does have a guide. I'll put that in chat real quick just to share the love here. Okay, um, so let's get back to this thing. All right, so we can pull out all the caps without having to worry about what one goes, keeping track of which one goes where. Probably be using a little bit bigger of a solder tip for this job. And also it doesn't help that this solder is all manner of corroded. Look at that. Mm. Hey, hey, Garth Beagle's here. How's it going, Garth? Oh, pupper. Gotta love doggos. Yeah, so these things are pretty nasty right there. Is the Australian one the same as the North American one? I think these are the same power supplies. As far as I know, I only found one model number. Let's just double check with Bruce real quick here. Um, so 2206.3 was this one. This one's a 20, 1216 volt and 1216 volt. And then another 2200 6.3. Yep. Okay. And then 220, 16. These ones actually look okay, but we'll replace them anyway. 220, 16. And then what is that one? 1200, 16. Yep. And then. 220, 250, yep. Yeah, so I think these are the same. Um, all right, let's keep going here. Gross, gross, gross. And of course, the logic board on this 2SI also needs to be redone, but um, kind of prioritizing the power supply right now just because I need that first. Well, 
it would be nice to have a power supply that works on these systems. Okay, sorry. Do do a whole bunch of chat. Sorry, folks. Yeah, the little riser board is very annoying. Okay, so this is disconnected. Look at that nastiness right there. Sorry. Why can't I get the hang of things this morning? Okay, here we go. Look at that. That's gross. Ugh. bed bench is starting to smell like fish juice lots of fish juice today power supply it was bad it still is bad but um, it definitely I should have taken this thing apart as soon as I'd gotten it but it's a 2SI so I wasn't like super prioritizing it um, the real reason I bought this thing is because it had a monitor and I don't have a real Mac monitor yet <laughs> like a functioning one um, turns out that that monitor was not functioning either um, I bought this from a dude that's a scrapper that I've bought a bunch of stuff before and it, this guy he thinks everything is worth a, a lot more than it is like he wanted 150 bucks for this thing um, you know knew that it didn't work he plugged it in he knew it didn't work um, and I was like, there's no way I'm giving you 150 bucks for this pile. And like the case was not in good shape. It's all kinds of scratched up. It was yellowed and gross. So it's like, uh, yeah, no. And so I, I wound up, I think I gave him 50 bucks for it, which is more than I wanted to pay considering the condition. But, um, if I can get a functional Mac monitor out of this, I'll, I'll be happy, but also Obviously now I need a power supply as well. All right, that caps out. What else do we have here? So, just like one of the, what one was it that I showed you? The power supply was all bleached from the cap juice. You can see that all the bleaching that's happened, some residual cap juice. Yeah, good stuff. Um, oh. All right, well, the SATA pult made short work of this thing, so that came out nice and easy. Um, go SATA pult. <laughs> Adam, you always get good deals on stuff. I never get good deals like that. The only thing I get good deals on is um, newer PC equipment. Oh, nice. Congratulations, Garth. That, that PS1's a pretty cool little system. I'm going to have you converted into being a PC guy here soon. Mmm. Gotta love this stuff. This was some of the glue holding together some of those caps. That was nasty, man. Okay. Um, 
What else we got here? This one and this one. Come on, caps. I've learned that I like working on logic boards a lot more than working on power supplies. Yeah, even this one. A little bit of juiciness coming out of there. Okay. Oof. Oof, that sucks to <laughs> buy a scuzzy one and get sold a parallel port one. Okay, that little guy's out. Couple more little guys. Look at this. Gross, gross, gross. Gonna add some fresh solder onto that. Wow. Yep, that's cap juice. That solder joint is nice and corroded. There we go. took one of my clicking zip drives apart. I was hoping it would just need something stupid like a recap, but it doesn't seem to be uh, that simple when it comes to the clicking zip drives. Has anyone ever come across anyone that's been able to fix one of them? Gross, gross, gross. Even this little guy. Look at that. Come here, little guy. There you go. Look at that. It's gross. Alright, I think we got one more there. There's a couple of Rubicons. Oof, oh, they got this one glued in there. That one's just crammed on in there. Oh, maybe it's like this? Yep, it was that one. Okay, so I think that's the bulk of our mess. Um, 
So I got the recap kit from everybody's favorite cap supplier. Don't think it doesn't look like those Rubicons are in there. Let's pop this open. So there's a 100 microfarad, 47, 220, 100, 100. Oh, so that's a 47 in there. Yeah, I think we got all these. Okay. So, let's pop those two out. Man, this thing's got a lot of caps in it. Last two little ones that are glued together. Okay, now what do we got? All right, so I guess now I should clean this thing. Let it soak a little bit. I should have up made myself some more. Uh, I've got some more isopropanol. Didn't realize it would be this bad. Gross, 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 gross. This poor little 2SI. I hope we can get it going again. I know we'll get it going again at some point. Might not be today. <laughs> I'm not having a whole lot of faith in my abilities on this one. This one is pretty rank, yo. Look at the liquid coming out of there. That is nasty. Nasty, nasty. I think I need my... Uh... Oh. Sorry about that. I don't know what that was.
Oof. Now let's take a look at this one under the microscope. There's some bad stuff afoot. Oh god, this all smells terrible. Alright, where are we at? Let's see. Look at this. Look at this mess. Oh, hold on a second. This is, might get a little bumpy. that oh I think some of this stuff might be flux okay it's not all terrible it's not all super mega gross um, okay here we go all right it's a lot easier for me to scrape looking in the microscope This one was pretty bad right here, but we'll be able to fix that. So basically, you just want to make sure you get some of this corrosion out so that it doesn't continue to stay in there. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, look. We can use our new tool. I forgot I got those. So I clean that up kind of nicely. Sorry about all this glare. So you can see that's it's a lot nicer than it used to be. Let's go down here. So we got some nice shiny copper now underneath all that junk. Most of those places. Got a little chunk here. I could get. There we go. Okay. So all that corrosion's better. <laughs> better. Let's take a look at this thing. So it's kind of gross. Um, all right, so we got to remember this one is a 100 microfarad there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is use the hot air station for these. And let's come in.
harvest juice here too. Okay. might blow. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Alright, so that's that. Oh, shoot. This thing is mega nasty. Whose idea was it to do this today? So, I'm gonna shift this again. Sorry, folks. Look at all the corrosion along here. What a mess. Thanks for the support, Jeremy. Gross, gross, gross. It's amazing. The difference in the quality, like, this, this board just, like decomposed itself basically look at all that uh, so I have a feeling that <laughs> this power supply might not be as functional as I would like it to be oh retro techies here just in time for some scraping you should come down I'll put you to work do some scraping look at that what a freaking mess. All right, I'm gonna use my my little tool. I mean, everything that Apple ever did wrong was basically Garth Beagle's fault, right? Retro Techie? I don't really believe that, Garth. Gross, 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 gross. But this looks a heck of a lot better than it did 30 seconds ago, or two minutes. I don't know how long this has been. I don't know. I think I gotta prevent you from being mod retro techie. That's the only thing keeping you 
keeping your head on straight at this point. Wow, look at all this. Oh my gosh. What a freaking mess. It's one thing when you see like little tiny traces that have corrosion on them, that kind of makes sense, but like traces this big, it's wild. Scraping, scrape and scrape. Yeah, there are ways to hack ATX power supplies, and I have a feeling that's what I'm gonna wind up doing to get some of these working. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be positive. Let's let's be positive for the next. 20 minutes until I try this thing out. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Right. Oh, shoot. You know what? I forgot to check to which way these caps are supposed to be oriented. Bruce's guide shows the orientation. Okay, cool. Thanks, Garth. So I'm kind of worried that I might have to take this chip off and clean the gunk out of underneath it, but... I don't know. I'm really worried that if I take that off, it's <laughs> gonna be more stuff that falls off. Uh, it looks a lot cleaner than it was earlier. Hey, Jay, how's it going, Jay? Good to see you, man. Look at this. This is nasty, 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 nasty. I think I need to put a new tip on my on my tool, my little Dremel thing here. Get in there and do some more polishing. Board polishing. things are pretty cool. I'm digging these little eraser, eraser abrasive thingies. Let's see how they work until I screw something up.
At least I have meat. At least I can see where most of these traces go now. It was really hard to see before. All right. Um, let's check Bruce's guide real quick. Um, what kind of bit is this? So it's it's um these things I bought them off of eBay. They're like basically like eraser with a a tiny bit of abrasive in them. And they're really nice for like polishing and getting a bunch of this junk off um, when you're trying to to find your metal underneath there. I'm sorry, my this reflection is so bad. But... Oh, it's always good to see the love happening between Garth Beagle and Retro Techie. It warms a person's heart right before the holidays. Got a lot of colors coming out of here. Sorry for my, for that noise coming through. Normally I have my notifications off. I forgot to do that before I started. Um, all right, I gotta hit refresh. Sorry if the stream, stream pops out for a second. Oh God, I don't know if we're live. Okay, here we go. I think I'm back. Everyone back? We good? Um, all right, so let's get a little bit of solder braid. A little bit of flux. bit of fresh solder and hopefully we can clean up this mess now it's gonna Cover all these traces with some nice solder. Goopy goopy, goopy goopy. Uh, thanks for the offer, Jeremy, but um, I'm good with, with cases right now. I actually I had one that was really similar to yours. It wasn't quite as nice as that one. And I wound up giving it away because I just have, like, too much stuff around here. <laughs> it's my goal to get rid of at least four systems before the end of the year. I just got too much junk around here.
Take it easy, Retro Techie. Good luck picking up your games. Scrape, 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 scrape. Oh, look at that. I moved a cap or a resistor. Oh. Garth, I think you were the one that said this board is annoying. You are very right, my friend. Okay, I think that's where that, that's supposed to go. Get down there, the little something or other. <laughs> yeah, but normally I, I'm okay with hot air because I can slow it down enough that it doesn't make too big of a mess. All right, let's clean this one more time. Hopefully the last time. I doubt it. Where's my toothbrush? Not gonna be the last time because we gotta put on a couple of caps. Okay, let's see here. We got these two. Make sure these are not the ones I took off. These, oh, yep, one of these was one I took off. Okay. Okay, this job is annoying as heck. Um, all right, let's go to Bruce's guide. So let's put on this 33 microfarad 25 volt first and this points. Oh, and of course, <laughs> one of the corrody bits fits right in between there. So I'm going to put a little solder mask on and that's going to take a hot minute. How big are these cookies uh, there, Jeremy? 13 hours to do a cookie cutter. That seems like a lot of cookie cutter. Okay, so I'll put that on there like that. Let's see if I have a UV light that's actually working today. Okay, yeah. All right, so I'm going to let that UV light do some UV light stuff. Set this aside. Let's switch on to my main mess. Okay, so here's this. going to let that sit off to the side for a little bit. All right, let's put some caps back in the main unit while that's drying. Oh no, well at least you took it apart. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too, gra too bad there, Adam. Let's do these big ones first, because darn it, I need something easy to do. I'm already losing my, my patience for this job. That's not true. 
I'm still having fun. So, solder one side, I'm going to come back, make sure that the caps are sitting flush. I'm normally pretty chill. <laughs> but sometimes... You know, sometimes the caps just don't, don't work in your favor. So maybe Adam, maybe all these notifications are your pictures showing up under my notifications. So I can't wait to check that out. It's always good to see somebody else's pain, right? Okay, so there's the two big ones. Um, let's get this little one. Um, let's see. Let me get some. More isopropanol down in there. Looks like there might have been a little bit of residue that I missed. <laughs> yeah, until the stream ends, then I trash the lab in frustration. No, I just go and drink a lot. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, I forgot to add that little tiny one in there. Ah, oh, jerk. All right, what is that little tiny one? Um, little tiny one is 100 microfarad, 10 volt. So what do we got here? That is 56 microfarad. 220. What's this little one? 47. 100 microfarad, 10 volt, 100 microfarad, 16 volt, 220. All right, so we have another 100 microfarad somewhere else that needs to be 25. So I'm assuming that this is going to be this one. Okay, 100 microfarad, 10 volt. And of course, I just cut the legs off way too short on this one. So that's gonna be hard. Oh man, we're having a day, aren't we? It seems that Sony is the only one. I mean, that's Sony is the only one I've come across when I was trying to search for power supplies for this thing. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to pop those big boys, one of those big boys out, aren't I? Um, yeah, Sony was the only one I came across when I was searching. Um, Gosh, golly. <laughs> Just mount it to the bottom of the board. No one will know. That's a good point. Uh, all right. Let's get the side of pull back out. I, I had to break all my straight tweezers. So I don't have any long straight tweezers anymore. 
I only have these bent ones. Yeah, I like the 2CI had a bunch of manufacturers. I, I couldn't believe how many different power supplies existed for the 2CI. It was really annoying when I was trying to, when I bought my stuff for the wrong power supply. Come on, you little thing. Okay, we're in. Let's just double check to make sure I have it in the right orientation. Yeah, plus is away from the metal. Okay, here we go. Woo! Let's get that one pushed up. There we go. Looking good. Now we can put the big jobby back in there. jerk <laughs> that's the problem with cutting your leads off before you're ready that's okay we got it whoo Let's stay on this side of the board. What else do we got to do here? 4.7 microfarad, 400 volts. 4.7 microfarad, 400 volts. And our plus is on that side. Y'all were putting a Mac Pie together and using an all in one case to do the job. Would you mount speakers internally or run an internal set? I guess, I don't know. I guess it depends on how high a quality sound you wanted. What are you going to be using it for? Okay, um, let's check our recap guide again. So 56 microfarad, 35 volts over here. Fifty 
six microfarad 50 volts. I think that's our one. I don't see any other ones that would require that. Yeah, 56 microfarad. All right, so this one goes here. Looking at this spot, put a little flux on this, cover up that trace that I scraped. I think I just desoldered that. There we go. All righty, so that's that one. Oh my gosh, everything's falling on the floor today. Um, oh, look at this. This is cute. They say primary and secondary on here. <laughs> uh, do I have a source where I can buy the blue solder sucker? No, I. this thing is like... I would say this thing's at least 25 years old. This one, this one's original. Um, I think I did see that you can get them on Amazon. They're not the blue ones, the they're, they're gray. So I don't know if the gray ones work well at all. Um, all right, so then we have, oh, let's see if our, Nope, my light is terrible, so our solder mask is not done yet. All right, um, let's do these two little tiny ones right here. All right, 47 microfarad, 25 volt. So this is our 47, 35. So I think that's the right one for that one. Yep, okay. there what's our next one 1000 microfarad 25 or 100 microfarad 25 volt 100 microfarad 25 volt Whew. What time is it? Oh, we've already been going for an hour. Jeez. Sorry, everyone. This is this is taking a long time. I'd like to hear some chime today. I don't know if that's going to happen. there All 
220 16 volt 220 16 volt okay let's use two All right, Jeremy, I made you a moderator. You can post links in the chat now. House of Moth. Oh, I thought it was called the House of Moth. Sod suck. Yeah, the. I thought it was called the uh, House of Moth, sucking vacuum desolder pump. We should make one branded for you, Jay. I think I think that would be appropriate. I would buy another solder pulp if it was a Jay branded one. clipped for those what else we got going on here all right I want to clean up somewhat in there a little bit more because there's some there's still some grossness grossitude Freaking mess. Adam, get this thing apart before you, before it's too late. It might eat your house down. You got too many Apple IIs in there. We don't want... You don't, don't want to lose a house because of bad cap juice. Nice, nice color right there. Uh oh, working on an iMac and it's smoked. Well, Garth, go use your nose, find out where the smoke happened. All right, what do we got going on here now? So we should have couple of 1200 microfarad 16 volt so that's these two gonna stream today Garth that would be exciting although I saw you made a, a produced video that was good that was a lot of that was a good video about the CD-ROM I don't like how these are bent out so I'm gonna straighten them Go 
holes in there like that. <laughs> Not going to stream this because you're making progress. Yeah, it would seem sometimes things go a lot faster when you're not on stream. I also find I have better luck working on things when I'm not live. Seems like things tend to get screwed up when I'm doing stuff online. Swapping a CPU and a 2013 Mac Pro, that would be a good, good stream. I'd botch the heck out of that. Garth, do you care about it working or do you care about providing entertainment for all of us? Okay, we're down to two on this board. Finally, we're getting close. Getting close. All right, 2200 microfarad, 6.3 volts. Um, yep. 6.3 volts for both of them. All right. Here we go. Well, at the very least, this thing smells a lot like fish than it did earlier, so at least we're making some manner of progress. So that should be the main board of this power supply done. Um, 
All right, so, all right, now yeah, we're started to dry that thing. Now I'm gonna finish drying this with some hot air. So we're gonna go down to 175. Looks pretty good. Let's go back under the microscope. Time for breakfast. Jeez, it's almost time to go get a beer and a pizza. Maybe maybe for you, breakfast is pizza and a beer. Sometimes it is for me. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I well... The streaming computer I used for years was basically the equivalent of a 2011 Mac Pro. Uh, microscope view. There you go. So there's our little dried up solder mask. Um, all right, let's check with Bruce again. So 33 microfarad, 25 volt around that one with the plus going down 33 microfarad 25 volt plus going down plus going down I'm sorry about the glare I really need to do something about getting my microscope camera a little bit cleaner Attached. Yep. There we go. All right, that's better. I feel good about that one. All righty, this one is our 100 microfarad, 6.3 volt with the plus shooting towards the right so there that let's put a little solder on there first So let me just double check to make sure I haven't shorted that. Good. Good. Right. It kind of looks like this little guy is missing some solder. I might have might have taken some of his solder away. So let's let's give you some solder back, buddy. You might need some too. 
Did I screw any other ones up? These all look pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to get a little bit more. All right, what do you think? Are we ready to go finally on this thing? Put this thing back in there. Let's see if we let's see if we make a fire. Come on, camera. Okay, here we go. Man, they don't give you enough. <laughs> Very much room between that cap and that uh, uh, coil. Nope. All right, we're all poking through. I'll set this on its side to get started. side in and then we'll come back and solder all of them Garth, have I missed anything? I'm sure you've been keeping track. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to blame it on you. Now you haven't missed fire, but I think I'm about to make some fire. Cover up some of this copper. I'll have to come back with a bigger tip. This isn't real good for this. Okay. It's good enough for now. It's always your fault, Garth. Yeah. You know more than all of us combined, so, you know, if, if something got missed, it's got to be your fault, right? All right, so all of our solder joints are good. It's a little dirty, but I'm gonna come back. I don't, I don't like the way that one looks. Um, All right, let's do this thing. Let's stick this back into its apartment. So these things are kind of fiddly. Ugh. There we 
we go. Both sides clicked. So then we have these coarse threaded screws. Look at this one. This one was so crusty. It was the one that was down by all the caps. Um, and I think this is my only screwdriver that will fit down in there. So the only one I have right here. in need it to come out a little bit okay. let's put these other ones in there find my screwdriver Technically, I could have just unplugged this so that it wasn't in our way. <laughs> it's okay. Um, all right, so then, oh, yeah, and this just goes right there, so I didn't even need to unscrew that one. So that was silly. somewhere that's important for that one. I think it's this little guy. And then we gotta put these things back. like this has some manner of little clip of do so, now I just got this crammed in there I'm gonna destroy that coil We're just gonna have to start all over again. Yeah, I don't think so, Jay. I'm, I'm trying not to get demonetized before I ever get monetized. You know me, Garth. I, I always do things G-rated around here on this channel. Okay, let's tighten up this. Tighten up this. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, let's see, do I have anything plugged in here? All right, so I'm gonna shut off that power brick, power block, plug this thing in. Oh, let's do a countdown here. Let me get some of this conductive stuff out of the way.
sure that I keep my spark fun tweezers right here. We're gonna have some spark fun. Okay, in. Let's get this on camera. Three, two, one. All right, my my lights dimmed for a second. They didn't go out, so that's got to be good, right? All right, so let's uh, let's check because there should be a trickle voltage on here, right? So I'm not feeling any fire coming out of it yet. Let's check our. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be buying the LTT screwdriver. I uh, I have enough screwdrivers around here. I admire the heck out of them for creating a screwdriver. Okay, so Garth Beagle, thank you for sending me these pictures about how um, these power supplies work. Um, I can't tell. Okay, yeah, it's square, round. Okay, so we should have our trickle uh, pointing towards me right here. And we have trickle. All right. All righty. Um, so what that means is theoretically, right, if we hook these two up together, it should power this thing on. So let's keep this in our ground. Yeah, I think I read somewhere that the 2CI and the 2SI share the same um, share the same pinouts. Um, I probably should have triple checked that before before I'm about to do what I'm about to do. Um, Let's see if I can figure out. I don't think I'll. Um, sorry, one sec. Just checking voltage. All right, so I'm going to stick this there. So that should be our 12 volt. And. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Um, well, that didn't work. Let's see. I thought I heard a pop. I don't smell any burning. can't get I can't get under there hmm hmm all right well we have access to one of the fuses so let's see what if this fuse works that fuse is good oh I can just pop out this little back I heard something pop when I connected those two things. The fuse didn't pop, so that's kind of a good sign, right? Let's screw that back in. I, 
forgot to check to see if we still had trickle. Yeah, we still have our trickle going. I don't know, maybe it wasn't as solid of a connection as I thought. Let's uh let's do this thing. What happens if we What happens if we do it? Yeah, might be a load thing. All right. So, how does this power supply fit in this computer? Um like this. Yeah, that's annoying. All right, so let's wing these caps off real quick. Let's just do a cap job on this motherboard. All right, folks, this is going to be my longest stream ever, I think. Let's go. What am I looking at here? All right, what are you looking at here? That's what I worry about. Gonna up my airspeed a little. This one doesn't quite smell like cap juice. This one, or like fish juice. This one smells more like urinal. This one should be pretty easy because all the caps, I think, are the same. Yeah, these are all 47 microfarads, 16 volts. Oh, oh geez, oh geez. That last one has a lot of plastic around it, so I'm probably going to wind up destroying that power switch. Let's try not to destroy the power switch. could use the old purple nurple technique, but you all know I'm not a big fan of that technique. Oh, there's more over there. Oh, I missed them. Okay, hold on.
I really do appreciate that Apple made all of these the same. This one also has a ton of plastic around it. I hope to not destroy this ROM sim slot. Alright, well that's a good thing to find out, Garth. Nice job. So why is the 5 volt not there? Alright, let's go under the microscope. Lube up our solder pads. Okie dokie. Now, where did I put my braid? This board looks pretty nice to a lot of the boards I've worked on over the last however many months I've been doing this thing. Yeah, most um, older Macs can tolerate up to a 2 gig SCSI drive, or to a 2 gig partition or drive. So it'll always come down to scraping. We've got so much scraping to do working on these systems. really hoping this would have been an easier job. I really want to try overclocking one of these. I've never ever done overclocking that required replacing um, uh, replacing crystals. I know that was a thing back in the day, but it was never something I did. So I was really looking forward to 
replacing the crystal on this thing and trying to overclock it. <laughs> Jeremy, is that a trade that you did or is one that been has been posed to you? planning on giving up the truck or uh, uh, like what what are you getting out of the trade is... <laughs> all right so let's uh let's do a little cleaning Oh, you're trying to get the computers. Okay. Yeah. If if you have no use for the truck, I'd I'd make that trade myself. If I had that truck. <laughs> do have a very non-functional truck that I would love to work on someday. It would be a fun thing to try to start streaming. Um, I have a 1935 Ford old flatbed. I would love to get that going at some point. Okay, let's put some caps on this beast. Let's see if we can power it up. We shall see. Exactly. You're only living up to your name, Jeremy. We can't blame you for that. Everybody watch closely as I destroy this power switch. So I've just gone through tinning a few of these first. Oh, it's not a gem. It's definitely not a gem, but it's a it's a cool old truck. <laughs> found it on a farm in Vermont and it still has the 1935 license uh, the the tags on it shit something just fell oh i just cursed garth cursed I think it might have been our, oh no, there's our power supply. Oh, whatever. Alright, that's a pretty cap. First time I can take pride in my work so far on this stream. Oh. 
Thanks, Garth. Can you hear me now? Hello? Testing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what that uh, crunching sound was. It was my mic falling over. Okay. Um, there's the cap. Another cap. Again, we've gone over this before, but if you're new, um, normally stripes on electrolytic capacitors mean negative. On these tantalums, they mean positive. So always make sure you got your caps on. Right direction can cause explosions. All right, Adam, thanks for stopping by today, man. And get those caps out of your 2SI before everything goes bad. Vic the Vicar, how's it going? Yeah, so when I do these kinds of caps, I generally, you know, desolder. So we'll do another one over here. So come in. I like to put one blob of solder on one side. And we'll go put one over on that joint. And then get ourselves a couple more caps. Um, I, I mean, so I guess, but so what I generally do is like, I'm going to hold where am I here? I've lost myself. Okay, so see how I'm kind of holding the cap towards the top? Um, and so I'm coming in and basically just kind of pushing down um, on there. And then if you want, you can always come back in and really make sure it's pushed down. Um, I also, I, that one was not straight enough. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we'll come back in. Hit that other side. <laughs> Jeremy, if I if I uh if I create another channel, I think it's going to be Big Bad Biologist, Big Bad Barn. Because um, I have a lot of barn repairs that I need to do as well. So we're going to come in. Let's rotate this around. Where are we at here? There we are. Hello, little cap. All right, so again, I put a solder blob on that side. And as I heat that up, I'm just going to push down on it. The hardest part for me is 
making sure they're straight because it kind of makes my brain itch if I don't get my caps perfectly straight. <laughs> That one looks nice. Eric's Edge. How's it going, Eric? This is getting close to the length of one of your streams, Eric. I don't know how you all have have the energy that you do. I'm I'm getting fried here. Although I mean I'm also I'm also losing today. We have not been successful so far, but we'll see what how we get. All right, I think we are down to two more caps on this thing. And plop one there. And plop one there. And I'm going to twist this all the way around so that it's easier for me to, to get to the joint. This one is kind of precarious because I'm, I'm next to so much plastic here. I don't like the placement of that, so I'm just going to shift it ever so slightly. There we go. All right, nice shiny joints there. Come on over here. All right. Oh, I'm missing two. I missed two. Garth, this was your fault. I told you, you need to keep an eye on me for this stuff. Uh, where's these two at? There they are. One there. One there. isn't straight enough. There we go. Okay. What's the little tube with two legs? So this is a uh, crystal. It is a 16.9344 megahertz crystal. I have a feeling that is the um, real-time clock crystal. missing any caps. Garth, am I missing any caps? Come on here, help me out. Uh, let's switch to this. I think that's everything. I'm kind of worried about the condition of these. Um, I 
think I'm actually going to reflow them really quick. I'm just going to hit them with some hot air real quick. Um, so I put some flux in there. Um, because there was there was some crustiness, and so you know sometimes if you just use a little bit of flux, um, you can come in and it helps clean up your whatever you're working on. All right, well let's let's clean all this thing off. So this board, um, I didn't show it on stream, um, but I, when I first got it, it there was there was a lot of cap juice still on this board, so um, it got a vinegar bath and then a, a regular soap bath, um, and then rinsed really well with the ionized water. Um, I always. Whenever there's bad cap juice on a board, I really like to hit it with with vinegar to inactivate that um, the alkaline electrolyte that's in them. How's it going, Bacchus? Thanks for stopping by. All right. Yeah, I guess if you stream long enough, eventually people show up. All right, this thing is gross, but it'll I'll do a much more thorough wash eventually. Um, right now, what we're about to do is I'm just gonna put this inside the case. Zoom out a little bit. Do I need a USC? What's a USC? Okay, so these, you know, the board just kind of sits down in here. You see how there's like an angle um, on these. Now, the logic board for this is relatively easy. I mean, I I think I caught it in time. It was definitely leaky, but it wasn't like really screwed up. The power supply in this thing was awful, um, and so that's really where our problem. Uh, that's really where our main issue lied. Laid lied blade something like that um and i think we still have an issue with our power supply but let's see what happens here so i'm gonna use this open do not do what i do um because it can cause problems um I don't know if this model requires soft power or not, but it doesn't hurt to have it available. This is my first time really ever working on a, a 2SI, so forgive me if I get something wrong here. I'm going to plug in a keyboard just in case. I think this model, I mean, it looks like it has RAM, uh, so it shouldn't need any SIM slots in order to power on.
heard a noise. And it powered off. Hey, I'm going to take that as a win. Um, let's see here. As you can see, this was a well-loved 2SI. I still haven't cleaned out this fan. <laughs> oh, God, that's gross. But I want to kind of use this as an indicator for uh, whether I'm getting power or not. Let's see. How does this little guy go? Okay, that'll snap on there. Oh, do I need an ultrasonic cleaner? Yeah, I, that's definitely on my list of things that I need to get. Um, okay, so let's... Hopefully it's just the speaker contacts not making good connection. That would be really sweet. All right. Three, two, one. Got our fan on. We got five volts coming out of our five volt. We got 12 volts coming out of our 12 volt. Hmm. This is this is good. I'm I'm not hating this so far. I don't smell fire. Oh, I see I missed a cap. Garth, again, this is your fault. Ow, something was really hot. That's not good. Ow. Oh, the, the processor is super hot. Hmm. That's not good. That processor shouldn't be that hot that quick. Um, all right, let's pop the speaker back, or the um, fan back out. How does that come out? Yeah, definitely tinker with what you got. This thing has two clips that hold it in. How the heck does this fan come out? Oh, sorry folks, you can't even see what I'm doing here. Oh geez, yeah, doing a ATX conversion. That's probably what I might <laughs> needing wind up having to do with with this guy. And uh, I also have a two CI that I need to get running. There we go. Just finding the clip is the important bit there. So the power supply. There's metal clips on both sides, and then there's the plastic clip up in the front. Yeah, the fan is kind of a pain in the butt. The thing you got to remember is like, and you can't see this when it's down in there, but you just got to like push these two things in and then you can pop the fan out. Um, okay. Is there any chance that not having that capacitor right there could cause that CPU to get really hot? I don't know. Let's throw a capacitor on there and see. Um, to get these motherboards out, it's pretty easy. Just put that little little slidey bit for out, and then pull the board forward. Problem is, you just don't want to pull too hard on these because the plastic is old and brittle, and so that can snap sometimes.
Um, the 2CI, the motherboard. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, the motherboard has capacitors like these that need to get done, like all these systems do. Um, but it has a soft power on circuit that can get a little funkified from the bad caps. Um, so that can cause issues with that. Somehow I got this thing, there it is, there it goes. It's really stuck. All right, Ooh. let's put this last cap in. Go back to the microscope. The stream is lasting forever, jeez. Here we go. Again, we're gonna just blame that on Garth that I missed that. Um, Nice, a restored 2CI. That's, that's I, I'm really excited to be able to play with a 2CI system if I can get this thing running. Well, the other system that I'm I'm waiting on. So part of the reason I'm doing this system is the power supply should be compatible with the 2CI. Um, and my 2CI's power supply was in much worse shape than this one, even though this one was pretty nasty. <laughs> it's not really Garth's fault. I'm just joshing, Ga joshing you, Garth. So, yeah, it's weird. So they used a little tiny dab of glue to hold on these caps when they were assembling the boards. Um, you can see it on a lot of the old Macs that they have just a little blob of, of glue in between. And even a lot of these SMTs that are around it, um, if you pop them off, they'll have glue underneath. Yeah, I should look around, make sure I'm not missing any other caps. I wonder if there's any chance this is one of those weird systems that requires a CMOS battery. <laughs> I really hope not. Uh, I don't want to play with the CMOS battery thing. Uh, I guess I may as well do it since I'm here and I have the board out. All right, let's pop off the battery holder.
There we go. Let's zoom in a little bit here. All right, there's our two spots. I'd make sure the speaker connection is good. Yeah. That's a good point. These have a funky little weird speaker connection. It's not a real um, like plug. Just coming through. Just make sure I look on the back of the board. Yeah, that's a little. The speaker things are a little scarfy. Maybe we'll come through and polish them up. a bigger solder tip for this. Rossman doesn't like the con the conical tips. I also don't have as nice soldering equipment as Rossman. pull this thing off my battery holder okay oh you want to use a Seasonic to do a mod oh man I wouldn't do that I would just get an ATX extension. Um, this is one I, I use like a, a little extension to do an adapter on. Um, and you don't have to destroy a power supply in case you decide not to keep it that way. So I just wanted to get some of that nasty solder off of there. Let's wash this thing again.
Whew. Is everybody having fun? This is fun. Okay, so that's that. Um, where's my chassis? Where did I put my chassis? Alright. Um, zoom back out. So, yeah, these leads can get a little funky. Let's, uh,. Deoxid fixes everything, right? Actually, I think I want to get a pencil. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, no, actually. That's what I bought these things for. Fiberglass pencils. It's all nice and polished now. All right, board. It's you or me. I have a feeling you're going to win. if you turn this the right way around. Oh, you know what I should do? As I mentioned earlier, that these, that the main connection here was really corroded. Um, so we're gonna deoxid this socket. Deoxid this. And then we're going to plug it in and pull it out a couple of times. Alrighty, let's try this thing again. in so we can check our voltages easier. think this is gonna work but just in case let's just plug in a monitor and see if anything pops up here um, this
Okay. And, ah, uh, shoot. Okay. Well, three, two, one. So we have noise. I don't think we have anything coming out of our video. No, nope. we got nothing. It's not on fire. That CPU is wicked hot. They really shouldn't be that hot. Hmm. Hmm. Big oof. <laughs> Let's plug in a speaker just in case. Just in case it's the onboard speaker being wonky, but I don't think so. Nope. Oh well. I'm not too I'm not too discouraged about this yet. Um I mean our power supply is making voltage. Um Oh, let's go back to here. Yeah, that CPU is so freaking hot. Um, all right. Well, I think what I'm going to do is end the stream here. Um, because I have to go do a couple other things. And this, I've been doing this for two and a half hours. Um... So yeah, I I think uh, I think that's gonna be it for today. I'll I'll post on social media um, if I come across anything interesting. Um, I want to thank Jeremy's Vintage's Hillbilly Shack, Garth Beagle, Vic the Vicar, All Things DG, Bacchus. Um, who else was here today? Um, Eric's Edge. Jay from the House of Moth, um, Adam McGee, and I think, oh, and Retro Techie was here too. All right, so yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in today. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get this thing running, but I'll keep working at it and uh, check me out on social media at Big Bad Biologist, at um, bitbang.social for. Um, for the new place what's it mastodon yeah also on twitter but who knows if twitter is going to be around for much longer um so yeah have a have a good day everybody and it was good to see you all